Hello, welcome to Flit. So today we are on alloys, and alloys are re really just metals mixed with another element, for example carbon. Okay, and some examples of alloys are brass and stainless steel. So alloys make mem metals stronger, okay, in the sense that, okay, let's look at the normal metal as we learned in the previous video. When I apply force on the first layer, for example, this is the first layer, right, okay, the metal, okay, uh, will have a dent here because this first layer slides over the second layer. Okay, it slides like this. It goes over here, and that's why it's uh, malleable. Okay, it's one of the properties that we want in metal. But sometimes if it's too malleable, okay, too easily dented, then it's not good also because it cannot serve its function. So that's why we need alloys. Okay, this is an example of alloy. Okay, and you can see that this one, all these are uh, are still metal atoms, but the big ones now are the non-metal atoms. Okay, it's bigger now. Okay, and what does what does this do? Okay, this one prevents the sliding of uh the layers. Let's take a look at the, ex the explanation. Okay, because metal atoms and other atoms have different sizes. Okay, as you can see, the small one are the metal, a big one are the non-metals. And this disrupts the regular layered lattice structure. Okay, as in this one. Okay, this is regular layered, right? But this is not. This is a bit haphazard. Okay, and this prevents the layer from sliding over one another easily. Okay, so for example, I apply a force maybe say here. Okay, it the first layer does not slide over the second layer because okay um there's this big molecule blocking it okay sorry this big atom non-metal atom blocking it okay and hence it cannot slide over easily and hence this is uh stronger okay the keyword here okay in this explanation is it disrupts okay the regular layered lattice structure like that and it prevents the layer from sliding over one another easily okay hopefully that's clear next one we'll talk about it's uh properties that it's being altered in the case of stainless steel okay which is made up of iron plus carbon plus chromium okay it will not rust like pure iron does okay and it's harder than iron okay here what we have here is a cooking appliance okay these are just a uh, pens okay uh we usually usually we will use the stainless steel right because it's a uh, it's not it, it will not rust okay and sorry it will not rust and it's harder than iron okay if you use iron maybe say for a few years okay, you'll notice this brown or this uh maybe this brown brown stuff start to appear start to appear on its inside and the bottom of it okay Th those are rust okay because iron reacts with oxygen in the air to um to form rust but in the case of stainless steel it will not because it's a combination of uh, many of three elements okay and it does not react with oxygen that easily and hence uh, alloys they alter metal properties as well okay so these are the two ways uh, alloys are useful to us um, first is it that it makes uh, metal stronger okay secondly it alters the metal properties in the case of stainless steel it makes it uh, rust proof okay and that's all for alloys